Hi guys, uh, this is a quick little update on my Waltham Grade 225, which has hit an unexpected snag. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while, but it's wedding season in my life. All the weddings that have been postponed uh, for the past two years due to COVID are all falling this summer, so uh, I've been running around and had not much time to work on watches. Uh, but in any case, I, uh, I thought I had this Waltham ready to go, ready to go through the cleaning machine and then get reassembled. Uh, and uh, I had done some work on the hairspring. I had put it, put the stud in the watch. I had evaluated the flatness of the hairspring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Put it in, taken it out a few times. Then I went away for a few days, and I came back ready to uh, put the watch in the cleaning machine. And I thought that stud screw looks a little off kilter, and uh, I touched it, and of course the thing just broke in half. So um, I don't really think I did anything, but who knows? Fatigue over a long period unclear. But in any case, I had a big problem, namely that uh, the screw, uh, the stud screw in the balance cock, let's see if we can see it, right there, was stuck in. And you will have seen at the beginning of this video, um, I've posted a few pictures of uh, what it looked like in the hole. So uh, this presented a kind of a big problem here, and uh, it was a bit annoying. So I found a very cheap scrap movement. I can get another screw. Uh, but I had to do something which I've not done before, which is dissolving a screw uh, in alum. Uh, so this is alum powder. Uh, I bought mine on Amazon. My understanding is you can find it at most grocery stores. Uh, and this will corrode or eat away uh, steel, but not the uh, brass plate surrounding it. So I've used this to uh, get rid of the screw. And what I did was I put this just a little bit of brass wire uh, through the cock, and I've suspended it with just just the stud screw uh, hole, the very tip of the balance cock uh, in the liquid. Uh, I've kept it in the ultrasonic tank and I've run that for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time for the past, I would say two days. Uh, so now it's time to check on my progress. Actually, I've already checked on it, but I'm gonna show you guys my progress and um, show you how effective this method is. So I mixed about a teaspoon of that alum powder in, and after having had the tip of the balance cock submerged for about two to three days, this is what the hole looks like now. So I've picked out a little bit of excess, um, kind of corroded uh, steel, but you can see that the hole is now completely free of the screw. So I should be able to insert a new screw. Uh, you can see also that the corroding screw has left a bit of staining on the cock. It's my sincere hope that this will come off um, uh, when the machine go when the uh, watch goes through the cleaning machine. But at the very least, I should be able to get in a new stud screw. One last thing you'll notice here is that I've taken pains to protect the um, the part of the regulator that is attached to the balance cock. Uh, there's a star screw which adjusts the uh, star wheel which adjusts the uh, precision regulator. I was unable to get this off the balance cock because it was securely rusted on. So I've covered it in Rodico. I'm also trying to just dip the tip of the balance cock into the alum solution so that I'm getting only the screw. Uh, in the event that this is corroded, I suppose I may have to uh, replace it or at least try to polish it up. So we'll see how that comes out. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to put it back in the solution, just the tip. It might not even be in right now, but um, I might give it another 20 minutes in the ultrasonic, just to make sure we've got out the last vestiges of screw. So um, this is something, a trick I've heard about for a long time, and I just want to endorse it for all you guys out there. Uh, if you have a stuck screw, uh, you know, screw head's broken off, screw's stuck in, um, this is this is a promising way to go. This has actually worked really well for me. So uh, thanks for sticking around for this little video. Talk to you guys soon.